Welcome back to Daytime here yeah. on Rogers TV. Now we're all ready for yeah. the day. Ready for the day. <laughs> Don't you feel great? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> great. Oh, yeah. no, it's wonderful. No, we it just feel good. limbered up from, with Luke from Free 4 Fitness, and now we are about to get great advice on headaches, what causes them, what to do about them. Apparently, I read that you just have to, like, get rid of your co-host for a day or something, <laughs> but Derek wrote that. So there you go. <laughs> Path and wellness expert and has, is the star of her very own TV show here on Rogers TV. Yay. Good to see you. Thank you. Congratulations. How's Thank everything you. going? You're having it's fun? It's great. We're um, having lots of fun. Give your show yes. a plug. Yes. So yesterday we talked about colds and flus and you can watch it again Tuesday at 2 and Thursday at 2. And next week we have a great show coming up, Breast Health for Women. Oh, so, good. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're looking forward to that. As always, you do a fantastic job. And we're looking forward to, to having this conversation with you today yes. because we're specifically talking about headaches. And now you yes. mentioned hot headaches, cold headaches. Yes. I didn't even know there was a difference. Yeah. Well, you know, in Chinese medicine, uh, I think the assessment techniques of Chinese medicine is fantastic. And what they talk about is invasion of cold and uh, hot or okay. heat. So if we think about it, if you have a headache and it's from a cold-related invasion, again, in terms of the environment, uh, we are thinking about people who are very depleted. Uh, hmm. There may be hypoglycemic, hypothyroid. Uh, their body systems are really low and that's uh, they're, they're sluggish. So maybe their uh, liver's not working properly and so they're getting a headache from okay. that. So are you talking about the proverbial ice cream headache? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right? I guess you could throw that in there too, that's sure. Them, right? Yeah, that's what, that's what we're talking about, those types yeah, of things. Yeah, exactly. Well, what happens with an ice cream headache is you eat something very, very cold, and a headache ca is caused from a vascular uh, dilation and then a quick contraction. So okay. you can just imagine if the vessels are contracting, how much that would hurt. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. No yeah. Okay. All right, so, so then what, what's a hot headache? Okay, so uh, have you ever seen a woman, you know, sitting there going yes. like this? Yes, yeah. I won't name any names, flashes. stepmom. Hot flashes, <laughs> right. So that's that's a, uh, an invasion of too much heat in the system. Okay. So a menopausal woman would have uh, an invasion of too much heat or somebody who's maybe hypertensive. Their blood pressure is way too high and they're getting a hypertensive related headache. So mm -hmm. these are some of the causes of now, headaches. Now are, are there the only, are only the two? Uh, no. In Chinese okay. medicine, you can have invasion of wind, you can have invasion of uh, heat, dryness, cold. So you've got all the environmental factors right. which uh, settle into the body and create an obstruction in that particular meridian for optimal flow. Where does stress fit into this picture? Okay, that, that would be a really good uh, point. So initially in stress, when our body produces a lot of adrenaline, cortisol, all that, that would be a hot headache. Oh, You know, really? you've okay. got too much going on. You can see it when, when people have that kind of a headache. You know, they're doing this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's too much going on. Mm -hmm. And then if people, uh, for example, uh, are under stress for a long period of time, their body gets depleted. So they're, exercise they're the type of people that are exercising and they're feeling exhausted after exercise. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there, you know, you see them, they finish exercising and they're kind of sitting like this. Like so, they, they've, hmm. you know, they've packed. Right. Yeah. Wait, so there's, you know, your regular he headache. When does it get to that next level that it becomes a migraine headache? Why, okay. do, why do some people have it so intense like that? That's a great question. There's a lot of research going on about migraine headaches and their relationships. But there's a stronger neurological association with migraine headaches. Uh, a lot of people get the typical aura. So they see things. So there's an ocular association. And we believe that there's an impact on the ocular nerve. And it's creating either the white flashes or the uh, lights that people see. Uh, we also know that foods can very much be related to migraine headaches and for sure we know that hormones have an impact on migraine headaches too. Wow. Yeah. Holy, a lot of things Lots causing of different headaches. kinds of headaches. But, you okay. know, yeah, today's just about the regular headache. Right. Okay, well, regular let's talk about headache. some of our remedies. Sure. Because I yeah. think we, we can all agree we all get them. Yes. Okay, yeah. we might yeah. not know why we yeah. have one. But yeah. let's talk about what we can do when we do get one. Okay, perfect. So with um, this time of the year, uh, you know, we, I brought in the water. Thank and goodness, <laughs> I need so. And we were talking about, okay, this is the time of year where everybody gets dehydrated. Why? Because we are drinking, we're tired. Normally mm -hmm. the body at this time of the year, there's less sunlight. So it's our natural um, kind of uh, body's reaction to cocoon. You know, you see mm. people putting sweaters on, they want to mm. sit by the fireplace, they kind of want to hang out. Um, so when that happens, because we're trying to fight that, we have extra coffee. 
or mm -hmm. caffeine, right. and that dehydrates you. Okay. Uh, in addition, you've got people, there's more parties, things happening, you're right. drinking more, mm -hmm. and that all is part of dehydration. Okay. okay. So, seeing that you oh, worked we're, out, we're actually I figured, getting water. I love this. Yeah. I, that we can I ask, back up a little bit to what you were saying about the hot person and the cold person yes. and whatever. Like I'm, yes. I'm constantly freezing, yes. right? Yes. And uh, I feel great after I after I do a workout. Yes. Okay, would this make me a cold person? It's not necessarily a cold person or a or hot cold person type or whatever. Yeah, it's it's more related to that health condition. What type of um, environmental situation is invading? So let's say you had a headache. I would have to look at your tongue to understand: is it more of a cold or a, a wind, uh, a cold or a hot invasion? And in your circumstance, it would probably be in response to heat. Hmm. J just knowing you, knowing your lifestyle, you've got a lot on the go. Mm -hmm. It would probably be an overstimulation. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. So cheers. 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 <laughs> this is number so, one. Number one, you want to drink at I least drink. half mm -hmm. your body weight in water mm -hmm. in okay. ounces. And then secondarily, water, you know, I mean, it's got great properties. The other thing that you can do with it is because the headache is up here and you've got vascular constriction up here, you can put your feet in warm water, okay. warm or hot okay. water. And what that does is it reduces the flow, it diverts the, the congestion for a little while, and it helps to alleviate a headache. Interesting. Huh. Okay. All right. So All right. those are those are a couple of things, and then we can talk about um, the type of headaches that might be related to stress. Mm -hmm. So there's different types of stress formulas. Uh, this is a, a fantastic remedy. Oh, it's a great. remedy called Tromos or Rescue Remedy. Oh yes, and I've used this before too. This yeah. is a nice calming thing as well. If you get nervous, you can take a couple of drops of this too. Am exactly. I right? Exactly. It's called yoga in a bottle. Okay. Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> I mean that's our that's our term for yeah. it, but it's really fantastic. It has different herbals in it that are in uh, what we call Bach flower remedy form, and they are to relax the nervous system and contracted muscles. Now, do you so ingest this or do you? You do. Yeah, you can actually drop a couple drops into your water. Okay. And you can actually sip it throughout the day if you've got a headache that's related to stress and nervousness, uh, or you can drop it directly under the tongue and use it that way too. What about just in terms of maintenance, Joelle? Like yeah. if you don't have a headache necessarily, but yes. you do live a ridiculous stressful life and yes. that sort of thing. Can you just sort of take a drop here and there? Sure. Too? Yes. Oh, good. Okay. Yes. yes. It's a very wonderful remedy. Kids can use it. It's it's great. It's hmm. very easy. All right. What else um, do you got? Another simple thing that you can do is lavender oil. And what you basically do is lavender has the ability to open up your sinus passageways. It's an antimicrobial, but it's also an anti-inflammatory. So you can actually take a couple of drops, rub it onto the temples. Rub, you can even put a couple of drops on your pillow in your mm. bath water. And that just gives a lovely aroma. And that just helps to, again, reduce the congestion to the area. Mm. Interesting. So when you get a headache, is there swelling? Well, there's vascular uh, uh, um, expansion and contraction. Okay. And this is, you know how sometimes people get a pulsating headache? That, right. That's essentially what's yeah. happening. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes it just pound, pound. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So prevention, again, another thing that you can do is you can take magnesium and calcium. Mm -hmm. So magnesium and calcium both help in smooth muscle contraction. So if you've got a headache, and I know I was doing the yoga pose the other day, and I was doing the um, stretch, and and I found that my shoulders came up at the same time. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I thought, okay, I need some magnesium <laughs> and calcium. Because what happens, of course, is when you're under stress, your muscles start contracting and you, you know, uh, your muscles go into tension. Right. So by using a little bit of extra calcium and magnesium preventatively, that can really help those kinds of headaches. Okay. All right. Interesting. Yeah. Time for another. Um, okay. So then we have some homeopathic remedies. So this particular uh, remedy has a combination of homeopathic <coughs> remedies. But let's talk about about the holidays coming up, a great right. remedy would be colubrina. Colubrina is for headaches where there's overindulgence. So you've had too much uh, cream sauce, too much to drink, too much coffee, too not much enough sleep. Gravy. <laughs> yeah, so any of that would respond to a remedy called colubrina. Uh, lycopodium is another really great uh, headache remedy and that would be where you've also got a lot of bloating and gas and a lot of liver congestion associated with that headache. Okay. So those are two simple homeopathic remedies. Now, what about if you really, really have a headache and it's mm -hmm. immediate right now? So there's different combinations that are put together and this particular product is great. It is a natural pain formula 
And its active ingredients include things like white willow. Mm -hmm. uh, white willow has anti-inflammatory properties. And also as well, it has a little bit of wild yam in it, which also reduces okay. inflammation. Amazing. These are simple things. So there yeah, you go. Great. We yeah. have everything from drinking a glass of water to going to your white willow. <laughs> yeah. We have you got the your whole prevention spectrum. and when you've got it. Fantastic. And Thank we're so you. happy that even though you have your own show, you still visit yeah. us once, oh, once yes. a month this to give home. us some tidbits <laughs> as well. Yeah. Thank you so Thanks, much. Joelle. As Thank we you. said, make sure you tune into her show. The live show happens. You can call in, ask questions Mondays at 3 p.m. right here on Rogers TV. And there are also repeats throughout the week as well, so you can catch that.